my name's Laura, Outdoor Learning Manager. Today I'm going to try and make a mud dumpling, otherwise known as Doradango. It's Japanese and it's turning mud into a beautiful polished sphere. So to make one of these you need, first of all, a lot of time, quite a few hours to immerse yourself. You need clay, you need a bit of sand, a trowel, a tray, other types of soil, little dusty types of clay, a little bit of hay, a glass jar and a sieve ideally. I've got this big soil sieve but then I have found, because I couldn't find an actual sieve, I've got this little tiny net that I've used to put some soil in and sieve it and some more soil here. So first of all you take some of the soil, the clay, take out any stones, big bits and then mix it with a little bit of sand and a little bit of hay and turn it into a hand shaped ball like this. So it's quite round and it's a nice consistency, it's not too, not too wet, not too dry, just right. So the little bits of hay and the little bits of sand help to hold it together. Then you leave it to dry out for a bit. I've put them in the shade so I don't want them to dry too quickly or they'll crack. When your clay ball, your mud dumpling, is at the right consistency, you take it and you use the glass jar to polish it. Now and again, take it and roll it in some sieved clay and then put it back on the jar and carry on turning it again. As you can see now, it's quite smooth, it's still got some rough bits on, but it's starting to be quite satisfying. I think I've got the dryness of the ball right now and it's starting to be really smooth in places. Just turning it round and round. Roll it in the grit and see what that, that does. Or the, I think I'm supposed to use dried clay at the very end, but I'll see if that happens. Rub it over. very meditative, so I have to concentrate on the technique. So, bit of, you see it's starting to get there, I'll keep going. Now the hikaru part, which is the polishing, a pair of old tights does the job. giant Malteser. Thank you for listening. Stay safe, stay wild and sign up for 30 Days Wild.